Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Psychic Medium Ray, and I'm going to be doing your April 2023 um, yearly horoscopes, sorry, monthly horoscopes. So let's get into it and see what com is coming up for the month of April for all my signs. I'm going to break it down by elements. So we're going to start with my air signs. So again, if you're um, a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius, this is for you. Also want to mention that all of my readings are, well, all of my emergency readings, like both email and video emergency readings are 30, I'm sorry, 50% off until March 31st. So if you want to go and book a reading right now, it's your time. Uh, and you can bypass the long waiting lines, uh, which is like five to eight week turnaround time for most of my readings. Usually it's like sooner, but that's the time frame. But again, if you want to, uh, now is the time to get your reading. All right, let's get into my air signs. So this month of April of 2023, I get here the seven of pentacles. So I feel like a lot of you are going to be very invested in your work. Um, a lot of like long hours, putting more time into your work. The king of wands comes in. This is like your creativeness. If you operate more out of your divine masculine, if not, this could be like a potential partner, someone in your life that's coming in that's very creative. Um, they could also be very like um, outgoing and adventurous at times. And I feel like you might be, facing that this is a month also where some of you could actually fall pregnant if you have been trying to conceive if you've been trying to have babies and you're an air sign this is a good time if not this could be you birthing a new version of yourself but the um the empress is a very strong um like feminine energy with the six of cups i kind of feel like this is just talking about your inner child and nurturing that during this month you know you can't always be serious and not like have fun time for yourself so they're just saying that you need to create balance for yourself that's the main message here is like creating balance throughout the month it's so so much it's so necessary um also have the two of cups so the two of cups i kind of just feel like if you're single you won't be single for long there's like a lot of energy coming in and then also the four of swords is like you need to rest you need to balance everything as well like i said you can't just be all work and no play um this is also about your health you know taking that into consideration making sure that you're you know, getting enough rest, sleep, hydrating yourself, et cetera. So those are things to look out for the month of April if you're an air sign. Also, I feel like this is a month where a lot of you could be celebrating maybe like an anniversary or getting married, getting engaged. Um, I feel like there's a lot of future planning. And also with the three of wands, just planning for the future, you know, um, getting ready, like new beginnings are happening all around you. Um, and again, with the Queen of Wands kind of highlighted, I feel like you stand in your divine feminine energy and you're you're getting what you want, you know? So this is a good good month overall for my air signs. I feel like there's a lot of new beginnings. There's a lot of focus on your love, um, also on your career. All right, so now we're going to start my fire signs. So if you're an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius, it's going to be your horoscopes. Again, I wanted to say... Uh, if you're an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Um, but if you want to book up like an emergency reading right now, all of my e email and video emergency readings are 50% off until March 31st, 2023. So there's no promo codes needed. Go and book yourself a reading. If you're wanting to, you bypass the lines basically. All right, so let's get into my fire signs. So with my fire signs, I have here the hermit card. So a lot of you could be feeling a little single, or if you're in a relationship, you could be feeling like your partner is not always there. You could be feeling almost like you're, you know, you're still like searching for yourself what you want. And if you are team single, like I am, you know, it's okay. Use that time wisely to plan for your future. You know, use that time not to mope, but to put things into action and to um, plan. The King of Wands is like, again, your energy comes in. It's very creative, adventurous, adventurous. Maybe you're planning on a trip going out there. I also feel like this month starts off with good news, reasons to celebrate. Um, so I feel like you might be on the receiving end of good news or might be birthdays and anniversary. Like, is it something that's coming up? I also feel like the month doesn't go out without a hitch, meaning that there's going to be drama with the five of wands. We kind of feel like, you know, there's going to be some people that might be disruptive around you or that just like, like to feed on negativity. Whereas you're, you're not very, you're not very much a negative person. You know, you don't like that. 
So be mindful of that. The King of Cups is someone that wants to give to you. So if you're single, you know, this could be like um, a water sign, like a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces that's coming in to kind of um, give to you, you know, they're showing their emotion, their love. But the, um, the King of Cups is typically someone that's very like nurturing, fatherly, um, you know, very loving and it doesn't afraid to express themselves from the heart. Um, and then the eight of wands, like a lot of communication going on. So you're maybe busy communicating with work, emails, you know, um, just socializing. And then we have the four of wands. And with the four of wands, I kind of feel like this is saying that, again, you will have um, a lot of focus on a relationship or a friendship. If you are in a friendship that is like turning into a relationship, or maybe you are in a relationship that's committed, there's a lot of planning. You might take a trip somewhere this month, you know, of April. Um, there's also this a month to make a lot of money, to network, to use your skills and market yourself, especially if you're a business owner or you're self-employed, putting and pouring yourself into marketing and, and ramping that up is going to be good for your business. For all my business owners out there, this is a profitable month for you if you're a fire sign. Um, with the ten of sorry, ten of wands, you kind of carry a lot of weight. Though these are like uh, past burdens and things that you're still shouldering, and it's causing you some unrest. Like the nine of swords, I feel like is fears and just not sleeping well at night, and then a lot of confusion. So something is like going you're going in circles in your head throughout the month, and it has you feeling a little bit where you're just going to throw yourself into work with the eight of pentacles, uh, and it's like you're working nonstop to try to avoid, you know, dealing with what's going on. Um, and the key for you this month, if you're a fire sign is to deal with the issue, not run away from it or push it away. When you're able to do that, the sun card comes out, meaning that things will clear up. Things will feel better for you. You'll feel a lot more warmth and uh, feel a lot more of that divine masculine energy pouring in. All right. Now we're going to get into my uh, earth sign. So if you're a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, this is your horoscopes for April 2023. Again, if you are a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Also, if you're wanting to book an emergency reading, now is the time. All of my emergency readings, both email and video, are 50% off until March 31st. So now is the time to book a reading and bypass all the wait the waiting time, which is usually like between five to eight weeks. So that's an estimated uh, wait time or turnaround time once you purchase a reading. Um, so again, if you're, um, again, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, which are my earth signs, this month you start with the Page of Cups. So there could be like an offer, an opportunity. Someone on a romantic level could be like expressing their feelings towards you. You could be expressing your feelings towards other people. This is a month where you might feel a little bit more giving. I also feel like at the same time with the Five of Cups, and some of you are mourning a loss or like maybe you've been thinking of a lot a past family member that has crossed over is on the other side and they're weighing heavily on your mind and you miss them. The justice card is about finding balance, but also this could have a legal tinge to it, meaning like this month you sign contracts or um, you might get into like, um, you know, might get a speeding ticket. So just they're saying, be mindful of like things like that, slow down, make sure that you don't sign anything without reading it um, entirely. And if you're not sure, consult a lawyer, you know, especially if it's a legality, the Ace of Cups is highlighting a marriage or um, a special union between two people. So if you are in a relationship, but it's not like a marriage, it's just like a situation ship or a friendship, this could be indicating that in the future you will have that. You know, some of you that are single or engaged now could be getting married in the month of April. Um, for those of you that are still team single, this is a commitment maybe in the future that's coming up for you. The emperor is your like a father energy. It's a very strong masculine energy uh, and wisdom. He brings wisdom to the table, but he's well established in every aspect. And I feel like a lot of you that have daddy issues, you might need to, you know, kind of close those gaps or those barriers that you have between you and your and your father. Uh, even though you may not, let, you know, y'all may not see eye to eye, there's some healing that needs to take place. And the nine of wands kind of tells me again, um, after I see the emperor is that there is definitely some bad blood between some of you and your fathers out there. Either your father was never prevalent or in your life, or uh, maybe he was too much controlling in your life or had an opinion, or maybe he was just not there at all, period, you know? But um, they're saying to forgive, but you don't necessarily have to forget. With the two of cups, I think some of you that are single are going to be entering a relationship. So it's very interesting for my earth signs. I also feel the queen of cups, you kind of stand in your creative zone. So you might be more inspired to do things that you don't normally do, like baking or like sewing, uh, crocheting, quilting, etc. 
I also feel that the uh, King, Nine of Cups, some of you are going to have like offers coming to hang out, offers regarding jobs, like new job offers. Um, the Lover's Card, again, is a lot of focus this month for my Earth signs on love and your relationship. Again, if you're in a relationship, this is Lover's Card is saying to go deeper into the relationship to see what maybe is broken, what needs to be fixed, or maybe just to re rekindle and kind of get closer. If you are single, um, the Lover's Card is indicating that love is on its way quickly. But with that love, you're going to have to be careful because the five of swords comes up and that's like a very deceptive energy, almost like uh, someone is not being truthful 100%. Uh, and then I see you for the rest of the month kind of just working hard with the seven of pentacles. Know that the seeds that you're working, that you're planting now are going to pay off for you in the future. It's a good card, a very good card, good omen. And then with the chariot card, again, you're moving forward, not backwards. But again, it's, it's going to be a balance. It's not going to be like a smooth transition for those of you that are wanting to change jobs this month or maybe like move eventually it's not going to be a smooth smooth transition but it will be okay okay all right so let's get into finally my uh water signs if you're a cancer scorpio or pisces this is going to be your horoscope for this month again if you're a cancer scorpio or pisces also i just want to repeat i did this for every other sign for every other sign is that all of my email emergency readings all of my emergency readings that are by email and video are 50 percent off meaning that the turnaround time is 72 hours you don't have to wait the five to eight week turnaround time. So you're kind of bypassing all that. If you're wanting to book a reading, now is the time. Just go to my website, www.raymondguzman.net forward slash shop. And uh, you can book a reading. Uh, but let's get into seeing what my Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces have all my water signs for the month of April. Okay. So we start off with judgment card. This is a very kind of like y'all might be a little bit more sensitive or picking up on vibes like of a friend or someone that used to be your friend, where maybe like the relationship is not the same or you're feeling like someone's being very sketchy or sketch with you. Um, but you're picking up on that. And this has you worried. I feel like a lot of you that are my water signs, you're not sleeping well at night or you're not getting enough rest. Fears are starting to creep in when you're silent and not having anything to do. But one thing that's most important for you guys is having financial stability for your family. And I think wherever you stand right now, you know, a year from now, you'll be in a later, uh, in a different financial position. I get here with the page of swords. Again, you're going to be using this month and kind of cutting through all the bullshit and people that are distractions and like focusing on studying if you're still in school or study, you know, if you're not focusing on your kids, if you have kids, if you don't, then it's focusing on your immediate life and what you're doing, you know, what's your purpose here with the eight of swords. I kind of feel like this is a month where some of you can be so sensitive. You're like, yeah. So for some of you, it's going to be your birth month, you know, or like not birth month, but you may be uh, having celebrated your, you know, your birthday the, the month before, but it just feels like, again, uh, there could be some things that come up within a family or a love life relationship where some of you might be in a relationship that's not good it's toxic and you know what's going on but you can't make changes right now because it's not time but let, let's just rest assured that the temperance card indicates that that you need patience and everything will be happening in divine timing eventually you're going to have reasons to celebrate so the month is not bad you might get a phone call from a girlfriend at the end of the month or in the middle of the month says you know on the weekend let's go out if you're not working and you might not be in the mood to do it but still push yourself to do it because you deserve that spontaneity and the two of swords i'm sorry two of wands makes me feel that you might be traveling you know you might have trouble plans you might go forward but you're just in your head a lot in the head space and that's never a good place to be in with the king of wands i feel like you have someone that wants to come in if you're still single or maybe you might be someone with someone and someone else is putting their eyes on you you know and i feel like this person has a lot to offer um, and they will be moving fast with the Knight of Wands. You know, there's a lot of communication, but ultimately this is where your free will comes into play. Because I feel like for some of you, this may be a month where your health is not so good. Some of you might have colds or may get, you know, sick or feel under the weather. So make sure that you're taking care of yourself. The high priestess indicates your high level of intuition. So apart from like me telling you, you really don't need me to tell you, a lot of you are tuning into what's going on. I also feel like this is a month for a lot of my water signs where they might move or facilitate a move either to, you know, another city, state, or cross country. But regardless of that, I feel like it's the right decision and don't doubt yourself. And that's the horoscopes that I get for everybody for the month of April, 2023. I want to thank everyone for tuning in. I'm sending you many blessings and love and light. Until next time. Bye.